Hello everybody, in this video we're gonna take a look at Image Creator, um, I'm G Creator, and this is a text-to-image AI, yet another one. Uh, but this is a like, nice little tweak and I'm gonna explain to you more about it. You can see that the art that are being generated are absolutely stunning. And you can find more information on the winning website, which is in the address I'm showing you right now. So let's talk about it and play with it a bit and see, well, what's special about this one. So first of all, is it based on any other known AI? Yes, and this is what the developer told me. We actually refined our model based on stable diffusion, but a different algorithm in data there. So you can actually generate more realistic photo and 3D render objects. Stable diffusion instead are only good at generate art style before uh, we make it more powerful using our own model. Again, this is what the developer said. And this is from the official website. Well, what uh, IMG Creator isn't best at creating yet. So words, for example, IMG Creator struggle to spell words correctly. So you may see some interesting outputs if you ask for infographic or meme. Faces, human faces may sometimes look melty or distorted. Uh, distorted. Don't be alarmed. You may just need to adjust your input for a more specific result. And photorealistic, uh, if your text input doesn't really exist in the world, then it will be like a painting. Now for any AI text to image, it's important to understand the limitations. Uh, otherwise just prevent yourself from getting into a direction where it can't work or uh, you know, try to maybe walk around it or you know, just focus on the things that do work in order to get what you want. And even then, one of the fun parts is actually experimenting, you know, with the prompt and trying to get to different directions by just playing around with it. Now, if you go to the main website, uh, you can find more information how to use it. You see how to use uh, uh, Image Creator AI you, in the Get Started. You can find tips and tricks. There's also a video that explain how to use the prompt, uh, so you can get what you want. The tips and tricks. I highly recommend checking it out. It shows quite a lot of information, uh, what you can achieve with it. Even logo design, as you can see, and the results are pretty impressive for the samples that are showing. I need to try it out. I mean, the price that we pay for logos, I mean, you can generate something cool as that. Well, I want to try it out. Uh, maybe I'm going to change my logo. <laughs> Web illustrations, 3D rendering. Right. So, for example, if you want to make, I don't know, like a, a card game, imagine you can just generate the images, the art, you know, for your images. Just imagine how easy it is and what well, cheap it is to actually create this. But if you need something, uh, you can even animate, of course, with another AI to animate it. There's so many things you can do. Uh, you choose camera angles, camera setting plus lenses, lighting prompts. All right. Many different options. Maybe, you know, some concept characters for your 3D game. Lots of different options. All right, so you can just go into the main website and try it out. All right, so how much it costs you? Well, keep in mind, this is as of the time I'm making this video. Things might change, all right, including features and prices. Just to keep in mind, so always visit the official website to check out the updated prices. So if you pay monthly, you see this, you have a free option. 23 at uh, 20 sorry 12 free images you can see that the image resolution is the aspect ratio is one by one all right something to keep in mind all right um and here you have the option if you go with the basic to access all these different features access to photorealistic illustration design no waiting queue uh, which is great by the way we get it very very fast uh what if uh, mark free access to free form input Priority email support, better generation quality. All right, better generation quality. And this is $9 per month, all right? Uh, this is lunch week special, by the way. So keep in mind the original prices, you can see $29, uh, uh, $30 basically. And if you go per yield, you get a 25% discount. All right, so these are the updated prices. All right, let's move on. Now, I won't jump into a lot of uh, comparison information here. Uh, do this in another video. But uh, if you look here at the basic option, you can see that uh, if you choose a category, all right, 
for example, I choose anime and gaming, you can further refine it and choose the style. And there are lots of options here, like 2D character design, 3D anime, uh, anime character, line art. So if you don't, if you're even not aware of those, now you can actually see the different categories, which I believe they are optimized for. Otherwise, we wouldn't see it as a separate option under uh, the anime and gaming. And you can choose it. All right, this is very good for uh, new users who may be lacking some of the technical words in order to use to generate certain images. Uh, design by, there are different options here. Uh, we're gonna make a, I'm gonna try that in a moment, all right? Uh, photo background, more option, architecture, angle. You see, you can just deep dive into each one and you have lots of different options, art, style, it's cool that you have this basic option that allows you to, uh, you know, just just discover, you know, the different styles and then maybe you can just go with the free prompt and do whatever you like. Or just continue using it. <laughs> uh, let's see more. Realistic photo, angle, let's say close up light, backlighting. All right. All right, so it's really cool kind of uh, playing around with everything. Now, if you want to understand the limits of what you can create, uh, there's a creator policy, so you can check it out here and see where, how far you can actually stretch what you can do with it. Uh, so these are, this is the content policy. Now, this is some simple words like lion and other stuff that is uh, set in the category called 99 designs for illustration. And you can see different things that actually are created using 99 design style logos. And this is the first time actually seeing an AI text to image that actually also have a section for actually focusing on generating logos. Now, if you look at the right side, by the way, you can see the images are generated. Uh, so you can see the different images that generated by other users. And you can try this prompt yourself and generate a new one based on the prompt. This is something, by the way, uh, uh, use a prompt in order to generate. It looks beautiful. Of course, remember it's based on stable diffusion. Now again, it's not a comparison here. I need more time to try to assess it to see, you know, which specific type of other direction I'm gonna find this one to be better uh, than others. If at all, again, I need to spend more time. And if I'm gonna come to this a a text to image AI generator in order to generate certain images that otherwise I wouldn't be able to achieve on other ones. Again, keep in mind this is based on stable diffusion. So this is it. I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, again, and you can try that yourself. You have some free images you can try to generate. You just pose other people's creation and see if you like it. So give it a try. Again, more information will come at the later date until I spend more time playing around with it. Thanks for watching everybody. Give a like, maybe subscribe. See you soon. Cheers.